Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar here. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd. So for those of you guys that don't know me, I am a moderately fit, middle-aged endurance athlete, family man, physician assistant, and doctor of health education. So, uh, happy Diabetes Awareness Month for those of you guys that are uh, doing something about it. But today I want to talk to you guys about choosing what you want to do in life and making the decision to pursue those goals and exercise the discipline, no pun intended, but exercise the discipline to achieve those goals and being focused on them. So we live in a world of chaos, confusion, brutality, you know, on a world level. And we're seeing it in real time and being exposed to it in real time via the internet. We have, most of us, many of us, in the so-called developed world, we've got these, uh, these um, smartphones upon which I'm recording this video. So we're seeing things, we're seeing the awfulness of humanity and even the, uh, the planet, <laughs> the terrible uh, destruction that this uh, planet can wreak upon us in terms of earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, you know. And some may argue that that's our own doing, that's debatable. But then ourselves through war and murder. <clears throat> but through this all, you've got to see what you're about, you know, what are you trying to do? You know, many years ago, <clears throat> I'm a, a bison, a Howard graduate, <clears throat> and about 30 years ago, you know, I really wanted to wrestle in college. I wasn't good enough for a scholarship coming out of high school. What was my goal to wrestle at a Division One school? So, I went for, um, I was going to go for wrestling team tryouts at Howard University. This was like 19... 89 <clears throat> and you know it took us a long time to do the physical exams and get everybody's weight you know decide who was going to wrestle off what weight category and that took like the whole morning so I finally and we didn't even do wrestle offs yet so I talked to the coach I said listen coach Cochran I'm really sorry but <clears throat> I can't do this I really want to go to medical school and I don't see myself being able to be a Division One wrestler and, you know, being a good pre-med student because you have to have a certain GPA in order to get that. You have to put in the time. And I was not the most talented student, just like I wasn't the most talented athlete, which meant that I had to put more time and more focus into those endeavors. I couldn't do both and, and do exceptional at it like I wanted to you know if you've ever played college sports you know during the season you got practice in the morning then practice in the evening then you're traveling you know for away competitions at other schools it's very time consuming and if you're not good enough to get a scholarship if you're not on scholarship yeah you know, it's a cost-benefit analysis that you have to look at so you know I apologize to the coach I say I really can't do this in all honesty and do it well <clears throat> and he understood um, so I decided to you know focus and buckle down on my studies you know I became a PA many years later uh, but um you know you you know I say all that to say you really you guys out there you got to decide what you want to do I mentor students that want to become physician assistants and I tell them I give them all the same spiel especially the ones that are much younger than me. I said, look, if you get married or you want to be, you're planning to get married, or you and your spouse are planning on children, you know, you got to understand that what it takes to get to PA school is full time. That's why they don't want you working in PA school. Oh, I don't know about other programs, but they definitely, they definitely discourage, they being the administration, definitely discourages patients, um, students from working whilst in school 
because it's full time, it's not part time. And once you become a PA, like me, you're gonna be busy. I've been doing this for going on, you know, 25 years. I'm always busy. You know, there's patient admissions and discharges to do. You gotta talk to the families. You gotta diagnose the patients and, you know, sometimes you know, low key argue with them, <laughs> to, you know, so you can have the best clinical outcomes, you know, so they can have nice lives or at least have good quality of lives. But it's very, very exhausting and time consuming work. And you're, you're not always remunerated for it on a financial basis. So it takes time. So I say all that to say, decide what you guys want to do in life and really try to focus on that. Don't, <laughs> you know, wander off and to other endeavors and then be surprised while you're not achieving your goals. Anyway, that's it for now. For those of you guys that want to be PAs like me or uh, health educators, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave my my uh, contact information in the description. I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Peace.